Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making an M&M shooter. So I have both the barrel and the lever that hits the M&M's made. So now it's time to make the frame. I'm gonna make the frame from a 12 millimeter plywood and I'm clamping the bearings in here the same as I do in my bearings video, which you can check over there. When placing this, le this lever, it's really important that it hits in the middle of the barrel every single time. To do that, I clamp these two together on the barrel, because that's the width in between. And then I can center it, tighten it and remove this plate again. But then I'll know that it's in the center. When you have only one plate, it's a bit harder to measure that. So to shoot an M&M you need to pull this lever back and then release it. I don't want to do it by hand, I want to do it automatically. So I printed this little thing that you can put on a motor and when it turns it will push the lever back because it has this moon shape onto it. I'll mount it and then I'll show you. I hooked it up to a power supply, so let's see if it works. This works. Try it like this. Okay, so this seems to work. It shoots the M&Ms like it's supposed to. They se seemed fairly constant, so I'm really happy with that. Next thing I need to do, I can put the other side of the frame on it. And then I need to make some sort of a mechanism that dispenses the M&Ms in here because what's the point if you have to manually insert them? To dispense the M&Ms one by one into the barrel I 3D printed this mechanism. This is a slider that has a hole that fits one M&M and this also has a hole and this slider slides in here like this. So there will be a big tube with M&Ms. The hole enters the tube and then it's pushed to line out with the other hole and when they both line out the M&M in here drops through here into the barrel. Let's mount it and then we'll see if it works. When I was 
testing this I noticed one thing and that is the M&M would leave the barrel up here and make a small bow like this. I don't want that because when that happens it hits this thing and it gets really unreliable. So what I decided to do is I made this little plate that guides it on the top. So when it gets hit it stays in the barrel here and it works when you place this. So let's put it back together and test it again. Okay, now the internal mechanism is done. Let's make a nice housing for it. Painting is all done, so let's put it together. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you in the next video.